Welcome back, everybody. This is training. I'm going to try out GM for the first time. Oh, wait, actually? Oh, unit details. Wait, I can't see it on the screen. F1. Um, Middle close range. Mobile suit, highly accurate. Beam weapon, generating shield, assuming missiles and detonator bombs allowed to control large swaths of the battlefield. That sounds extremely overrated. Um, a reliable close range pistol with zero. What? They're saying the beam spray gun has zero accuracy loss. This is one of the most inaccurate, useless weapons in all of Gundam. If not the most inaccurately useless weapon. Wow. Hold, hold your shield in front of you while using your primary weapon. Absorb a set amount of damage before breaking and gener regenerates over time. Throw a homing, homing mines to fly towards the enemies that get too close, damaging all enemies in a small area when they explode. Oh, this is G-Maneuver, okay. Throw an incendiary device that detonates on your command, damaging all units in a medium era. Whoa, he's got a detonator bomb? Shield bash, charge sh short distance forward with your shield to deal damage and knockback to all enemies in front of you. It doesn't even have its best weapon, the beam saber in this. Wow. Um... Repair grenade. Throw, throw a device to repair allies in a small area where it lands. Wow. You can fix stuff. Well, let's sortie. Oh, my goodness, this is not at this range. Ha! 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 Are you kidding me? They had to make this suit so uncanonical just to be competitive. Are you kidding me? No way does this gun have this much range. An actual gun of war. Like, GMs are a death trap, but they do save the Earth Federation. There's probably a lot to do with the shield. But yeah, if the beam strike gets close up, it should, I believe, one shot. Or at least take limbs. It's so weird how guns don't auto reload in this game after you freaking shoot. This is like one of the only games that has that. <laughs> Okay, that's what it does. Let me help you out. Stop lying around, lazy bones. All patched up. Oh, I need to practice that more, but oh, God, it was so close to like Oh, so it was also one of the ones creating that fire effect. Ah, that's how the Earth forces get the fire effect. It's dead again. I'm gonna do the healing grenade on him. Providing support. Uh, did that even heal him? Are you kidding me? I think it's better to use against these guys. Are they? All right, girl, let's go start some trouble. Yeah, that is strong. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, what an interesting unit. Because then you can also throw that down with your super weight and then blow them all up at the same time. It's like headshots are very key with this thing. This is actually accurate enough to land on, which is just hilarious to me. Like, is it a burst of health? Is that what it does? Am I missing? Looks like it's not healing him at all. Am I missing? I should put it faster Stop to heal him. Around, then. Lazy That's bones. All patched up. Let me help you out. Dude, I don't think it's coded to actually fix him. Well, whatever. I guess there's one last thing that I wouldn't even bother in actual cannon. But in this game, it might actually be something. How does he do against these guys? Providing support. So it's supposed to f wait, is this supposed to fix myself? Not other people. Wait, are you being just fixing myself?
if I just throw it at my feet. Oh uh, yeah, it does regenerate. Will it beat Zocker damage is the question. Stop lying around, lazy bones. All patched up. No, yeah, I guess it wasn't a fact, it just flatly delays death. It's mostly for an out of combat thing, or just giving them slightly extra life. Okay. God, that really looked like the show there. Ha! <laughs> it's like right in, in his face. Okay, you think you're something home? The shield bash. Done. Ooh, you know what? Shh. The shield bash. I feel like I could just kill him with the blaster faster. Ha! <laughs> I mean, the, the beam spray. <laughs> And that's the absolute slaughteration. Huh. Okay, you don't actually need it now. Yeah, you must have come with a gun at that point. This should do it. it does need that at point blank though. Yeah, I mean the gun does kind of perform like it should, but like I don't think it's actually ever that accurate, but maybe it is and I'm just moving. Which means that's why it looks that way, but I'm almost certain that show they're not moving, that thing's just stupid close range. Like 10 feet, or 10 meters, maybe. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. That was the GM. And I can actually show you the GM 1 and 2 in this game. Here's the regular GM, and here's the GM Sniper 2, which is a bit different than the Sniper variant, but yeah. I played the Sniper before, but next up, it's me going to be as GM Sniper. I mean, that regular GM. Thank you so much for watching. It says it's a two disc star difficulty. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked what you saw. Like what you saw. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, bell if you'd like to see more content like this. And as always, may your tail eternally be retold. You know, I wonder if the star difficulty is the chance of actually landing shots. Which, if that's true, maybe that is accurate. Anyway, later.